Welcome to Pembrey in South Wales, where along with the Orange Army, without whom nobody can go racing, we're here for round three of the British Mini Bikes Championship. Seven races coming your way across two programmes, starting with the Junior Supermoto 90 class. It's Kian Daly, Taylor Davies and Carter Spinks on the front row. Thomas Med, Dan Tanton and Dylan Cook on the second row of the starting grid. Very competitive, this class. Then JJ Manchester, Rex Armand and CJ Maguire from Oliver Med, Ryan Merrin and Austin Dilks. Here's your race commentator with all of the action here from Pembrey in Wales. Over to Chris Zora. Looks like the riders are ready to go. Race number one of this third round of the championship is about to get underway as the grid is now clear. All eyes on the start. Oh, one rider jumped the start slightly there. That was Taylor Davis, I think. Just uh, misjudged it there. But I think we are still good to go. So Taylor will take his position back on the grid and we're about ready to go. And the lights turn to green. Away we go as the third round of the championship gets underway. And the number 35 then getting a very good start. They make their way around the first corner. Taylor Davis, Carter Spinks also well placed. Around towards the top of the circuit they go. So uh, certainly a very good clean start. They make their way up towards the chicane for the first time. These are some of our smaller capacity machines here, of course, so uh, they'll be working hard around this. It'll be a really fast circuit for these smaller bikes. That chicane there, about the about the slowest part of the track you might uh, might see out there. Here they come back towards us for the first time. So Taylor Davis, there uh, we saw there, just getting... He had a bit of a moment there where he misjudged the start, but he seems to have gone away quite nicely. They make their way around the, uh, the back of the circuit for the first time down that back straight. Heading towards the final few corners, the riders on full gas, you would say. That's a very quick right-hander that they make their way through now. Any moment now, go flying through. So Keon Daly, number 35 there, getting a good jump on the field as they make their way around the uh, final couple of corners. Back towards the finish line, JJ Manchester, Daniel Tanton also well placed here. They come down, so it's the number 11 in second position. As they go charging through for the first time, there's the Taylor Davis on the number 11. Just behind Keon Daly and uh, Connor Spinks also well placed. Number 35 not showing on our lap chart at the moment. He is down at the bottom there in 11th place, but uh, as you can see, leading the pack. So sometimes you get these anomalies with the timing screens, of course. So I'm sure that will be updated very shortly. But it is the number 35 of Keon Daly that leads the way. Taylor Davis on his tail in second place. One of the uh, number 11 there, the... Uh, Supermoto, of course, leading the way of Daly. We've got Carter Spinks, Daniel Tanton in fourth. JJ Manchester, fastest lap on that first lap being of uh, 121.845. Dylan Cook currently in fifth place from Rex Ullman. Thomas Med in eighth position. Oliver Med in ninth. CJ Maguire and one of our novice riders there, Ryan Merron, with the, you'll see him at the back there with the high of his jacket on earlier, number 58, currently running in 11th place. But Daly. Holding on to the lead as Davis just starting to look for lines. He gets a nice drive out to the final corner. As we look there, there's CJ Maguire on the inset screen there, number 15, making his way down the back straight. Closely followed by, I think that's also Oliver Med and Ryan Merrin in there as well. As the fight for the lead goes on. And Taylor Davis just starting to have a look here. Still a long way to go in this race, of course. He's going down the outside into the first corner, looking for the outside sweep. Daly going defensive into the first corner. That could affect his exit speed from the corner but he's got plenty of time to get back up to speed here and he can hold that racing line as Davis again just shadowing the back wheel of the number 35 daily or race leader he's 11th on your timing charts there but the junior submoto rider just starting to be a little bit defensive into these corners you can see him guarding the apex he knows that Davis is behind him these two really pulling away now from Daniel Tanton in third place as they make their way down the back straight out to that long right-hander at the top of the circuit. And the run down towards the finish line now. There's a big sweeping right-hander that takes them onto the back straight. And these two really now pulling away from Carter Spinks currently in third place. Daniel Tanton and JJ Manchester just a little bit further behind as again you see Davis going taking a wider exit into the corner. Daly on the green machine, your race leader number 35, guarding the apex. And again, Davis just looking at the, uh, trying to get the drive out of the corner. Heading around the back of the paddock now, they come through this long right-hander that takes them back, heading towards the finish line. Very quick finish to this Pembry lap. And here they come down towards the line again. So heading towards the halfway point of this race, five laps to go. And Davis just having a look on the outside again. 
Daly gone inside line. There's the battle a little bit further behind here. Got Daniel Tanton, JJ Manchester all running very close, a little bit further behind as we look at the two left, the two leaders on the left screen there. A little further down there, Daniel Tanton still in fourth place. JJ Manchester, Dylan Cook, Rex Ullman, Thomas Bed all running very close, just a few seconds behind these two leaders. As we watch Ken Daly, number 35, your race leader. 117.570 for the number 35. Fastest lap of the race so far. Just starting to pull away slightly from Taylor Davis. The gap then is 6.7 seconds between second and third, with Carter Spink still in third place. And there is that battle. It's a bit further behind there. Daniel Tanton, JJ Manchester, Dylan Cook. I think Rex Ullman might be starting to get involved in this one as well. Number 21, just on the inset there a few moments ago. Our leaders now making their way back towards it. Looks to me, though, that Taylor Davis has taken the lead on the back of the circuit. Number 11, your new race leader. And that came out of nowhere. So I wonder if Daly just made a mistake into one of the corners, just lost a little bit of drive, maybe. And that may have allowed the number 11 of Taylor Davis to take the lead. But down the inside goes Daly. Drag race into the first corner, but he can't quite get that apex. He's hanging in there, but uh, Davis has got the momentum on the outside line and holds on to the lead. Sweeps around the outside, retains the lead. Carter Spinks around nine seconds behind in third place. Daniel Townsend still in fourth with that big battle with JJ Manchester, Dylan Cook, Rex Ullmond, Thomas Med getting involved. So for the first time this race, Taylor Davis, who has set the fastest lap of the race, 117.457. Now leads the way, but Daly fighting back on the back straight, has a look on the outside. And, of course, Davis is going to have the line into the corner here. Daly just hanging back for a moment there, not committing himself to the corner. He, I think he knew, of course, that was going to be a tough ask to get that pass done. As we again look at that close battle here, just on the right-hand side of your screen. That's Daniel Tanton, JJ Manchester, Thomas Med, Dylan Cook, Rex Ormond all fighting away. CJ Maguire, Oliver Med and Ryan Merrin a little bit further behind as the leaders make their way down towards the final corner. Still with the number 11 of Taylor Davis leading the way, 117.457, fastest lap of the race. Down the inside goes Daly, and again the action a little bit further behind, getting very close as Daly goes for the lead. Down the inside, this time he's done it. A little bit braver onto the brakes, into the right-hander, and he makes the pass stick. So a neat move there from the number 35 of Keon Daly. Carter Spinks on his own, still in third place, and then this great battle on the right-hand side of your screen. Side by side down the straight there between Daniel Tanton and JJ Manchester. Thomas Med, Dylan Cook all running well there with Rex Ullman, CJ Maguire in there as well. Giving you a real idea of this slipstreaming racing that you get here at Pembury. Lots of close racing there. Very difficult sometimes to make an overtaking move. Although that said, Thomas Med going through into fifth from Dylan Cook, Rex Ullman, JJ Manchester. So I'm wondering if Manchester made a small error that might have just dropped him down just a little bit. And he's got to work again now because he goes down to eighth place. Here's that battle once again. Riders jostling for position. It looks to me like Daniel Tanton, now clear in fourth, is just starting to move away as the leaders do battle once again. Keon Daly then back into the lead. Taylor Davis trying to find a way through. That's the fight for first place on the left-hand side of your screen. Down the inset on the right-hand side. We're looking also at the close battle of fourth place. Carter Spinks. Third position right now, number 296, enjoying his own race. As again, Taylor Davis down the inside, and it's a repeat of the move from last time. But not quite. He couldn't quite get the move made. They run a little, he runs a little bit wide as they approach the number 58 of Ryan Merrin, who holds his line on the inside. Let's the faster riders find their way around the outside. Still this great battle. Jan Daly leading the race, of course. So uh, this is actually the battle for fourth position. Carter Spinks about uh, 13 seconds down on the battle for the lead and then this third place flying through the final corner. Looks like it may have changed again. Here they come over the line. So it is Thomas Med, the rider with the yellow helmet there, number 12, moving into fourth place. Daniel Tanton as all oh, having a peek down the inside there. It was JJ Manchester who started to fight through the field again. Dylan Cook on his tail on the number 13. They make their way through the long left-hander, away from the paddock, back towards the top part of the circuit now, towards this... about the most technical part of the track here, this chicane, this long sweeping left-hander into the right-hander. There is...
is the third place rider, number 296 of Carter Spinks, who's been off the radar somewhat in this race. He's had a very serene race in third place, the top two pulling away from him. And he's really pulled away nicely from the battle for fourth, so he's about one of the only riders who's having the luxury of a battle-free ride at the moment. He can run his own lines out there, not worry about anyone else, just bring it home for a solid third place. Meanwhile, with one lap to go, Taylor Davis, number 11, now back into the lead, of course. I think closing slightly on Oliver Med, but uh, probably won't get close enough to be a factor in terms of lapping. Elon Daly seems to have pulled away at the front. Number 35, so Taylor Davis around the final. Couple of corners now, there he goes. Daly, number 35, just a little bit further ahead, just going out to the final corner now, heading towards the final straight, leading the race so far. There's the second place rider, number 11, Taylor Davis. Over the line he goes. So it's a race win for number 35, Keon Daly. Taylor Davis in second place. That looks like Oliver Mader goes through, just going a lap down there in 11th place. Still the fight for fourth place, Carter Spinks. Should be crossing the line any moment now to finish in third position. And here is the fight for fourth. So it's Carter Spinks in third place. Who is it going to be in fourth? It's now the number 12 of Thomas Mendes. Ryan Merrin goes over the line and lap down. He'll finish in 11th position. And here comes the fight to the finish line. We wait for them on the finish. Checker flag now being readied for this fight for fourth place. Rex Ullman from Daniel Tanton, JJ Manchester, but they're all behind the number 12 of Thomas Med. Here they come over the line, so it's going to be Thomas Med over the line in fourth position. Rex Ullman, Daniel Tanton, JJ Manchester seventh, Dylan Cook and CJ Maguire on the number 15. Just coming up towards the final few corners, just a little bit further behind. So an interesting opening race from Junior SM90 then. Taylor Davies taking the win ahead of Carter Spinks by 17.6 seconds. Thomas Med managed to beat Rex Armand and Dan Tanton to the podium with JJ Magister getting ahead of Dylan Cook for the top six. CJ Maguire in eighth position. Very rare to see Kean Daly all the way down in ninth place ahead of Oliver Med. He still leads the championship, Kean Daly, but look at the fight for P2. JJ Magister, Dan Tanton and Taylor Davies only separated by two points. It's going to be a nail-biting fight. More great racing, this time from Mini GP 110. Sebastian Goslowski, Leo Soliu, and Mason Federick will share the front row of the grid. Caden Herring and then Max Robinson with Mason Hams together share the second row of the starting grid. Leon Simpson, Kian Daly, that man again, and Jasper O'Neill White on row three with Ella Mosgrove sharing with Austin Wilton. Here's Chris. So BMB 110 Cup and the Ovali 110s are about to get underway. Riders lining up on the grid now. There's Caden Herring on the number 914, closest to the camera. Should be Mason Fedrick, I believe, next to him on the front row with Sebastian Golowski, the rider to look out for on the inside. Riders getting underway in just a few moments. There is the number 64. Should be on the uh, the pole position there. Sebastian Golowski, number 64. Looked very quick yesterday, so certainly will be amongst the favourites. Giving an idea of some of the uh, the qualifying times yesterday, average speed for Glavsky, the only rider to break 60 miles an hour average, uh, uh, stress again, average speed of 60 miles an hour around this track, which on these small machines is really quite something. Gives an idea of just how quick things are here at Pembry. So all eyes on the lights and we are about to get underway for our second race of the day. BMB 110 Cup 
and the Ovali one tank up gets underway oh one rider stalling on the line there and let the uh, let the clutch out just a little bit too quickly as they charge into the first corner so a good start there for Glavsky number 64 Not sure if that was Mason Fedrick, possibly, that stole the machine on the line, getting underway at the back of the field. Should be able to get that machine back underway. Of course, the riders, it is a stationary start, but the riders spread out quite widely on the grid in the interest of safety because, of course, it is a real dangerous thing if a rider stalls the bike on the line like that. But the grids expanded in a way, of course, they do have plenty of room to avoid a station rider on the grid, so no problems there at the start, and they all will get away. Sebastian Galafsi, number 64, the rider to beat this weekend. And as you can see already at the start, really starting to clear it away at the front here. Very really quick as he makes his way down towards the final corner. Absolutely charging around this Welsh circuit as he comes back towards the finish line, over the line for the first time. So Galafsi leading the way. Max Robinson in second place. Mason Fedrick in third. And for some reason, Glasgow showing at the bottom of the timing charts again. Of course, that will be uh, cleared up after the racing. So you just have to uh, bear in mind number 64 is, of course, the race leader. Max Robinson, it was in second place. Mason Fedrick in third. Caden Herring fourth. Mason Hams. Keon Daly, of course, the rider we saw win the Junior Supermotos. Number 35, currently in fifth place. Leon Simpson, Jasper O'Neill, White, Alan Mosgrove. And Leo Solly a bit further behind as we look at this battle here. And the inside goes Max Robinson. So they're fighting out for second place here. That's Mason Fedrick on the orange machine. The leader just going out of sight there as again down the inside goes Fedrick. Oh, nice little move there to take the apex away. But they're side by side through the corner here. And Robinson fights back as they come up towards the final corner again. You see Fedrick having a look on the inside here, just trying to get that apex into the corner. And he had to be brave on that corner. Round the last corner they go, and he's done it. But Max Robinson right in there. Fourth position. Watching there, Caden Herring. Sebastian Galowski goes through. Gaslowski goes through with a 108.652. Just ahead of these riders who are fighting for second. Fastest lap of the race, 108 at the moment. So he really is motoring as the fight hots up for second place. Down the inside again goes Robinson. Has a look on the inside of Fedrick. But Fedrick took the line into the corner. Caden Herring watching in fourth place. Green leathers, green and red leathers for the number 914. Mason Hams, Keon Day, Leon Simpson a little bit further behind. Max Robinson liked this corner last time around and he does again. Steams down the inside there. Had to be brave into the right hand there. But he's made it stick and back into second place. Goes that number 99 of Robinson. So Glavsky leading the way quite comfortably at the moment. Get some of our lap times here. You can get an idea of the pace so far. Glavsky in the 108. So a lot of the riders lapping at the moment in the 110s in this battle for second place. The riders further down the field around the 115, 116 marker. And here they come down the start finish line straight towards the right hander once again. And down the inside goes Fedrick. Nice little move there to take the apex away. But look out for Robinson on the exit of the corner. Couldn't quite get the drive. And 914, Caden Herring is desperately trying to get involved here in fourth place. Drifts wide as he comes towards the chicane. These two fight in composition, but of course these are real slipstreaming manoeuvres. And they're not really blocking each other up or slowing each other down. So it's a little bit difficult here for Caden Herring to try and get involved in this fight for second place. But he is desperately looking to get involved again. You see Robinson down the inside. Another brave move into that right-hander. Fedrick can't quite close the gap. Sebastian Gozlowski still leading the way, number 64. Of course, now you'll see on your timing screens on the left-hand side that there he is, just going through the uh, foreground of our picture. Gives you an idea of how clear he is at the front. The gap was 6.1 seconds last time out, I think, so a little bit more now. Gozlowski going over the finish line as we look a little bit further down. Here's the battles towards the, uh, the back of the field there, the likes of Austin Wilton, Ella Mosgrove. Leo Soliu currently in 11th place, having their own fight a little further down the field. Uh, Jasper O'Neill White on the 178 in there as well, as you see on the left-hand side of the screen. 
Fedrick just guarding the apex, you see Caden Herring having a look on the outside, the pack further down, just charging around the final corner. So action throughout this 110 race here. Still the fight for second place, very close, further down over the line they go. Mason Ham's in there as well, number seven. Keon Daly, Leo Solia, who's moving through the field now, number 36. So Solia, the rider who stole the bike at the start of the race, now starting to make his way through the field quite neatly. As again, Robinson on the inside line on the right-hander at the far end of the circuit now, running their way back towards the paddock in the end of the lap. Still four laps to go in this race, and Mason Frederick not giving up that fight for second place. Caden Herring on the 914, just a few tenths behind, desperately trying to get involved in this battle here. As we watch Frederick switching his lines, looking for the inside into the final fast, sweeping right-hander, gets a nice drive out to the final corner. Good move there from Mason Frederick. Side by side down the straight, got a nice line here into the first corner. He's going to be brave on the brakes. Takes the apex away from Max Robinson. And Mason Fedrick going back into second place. That really gives you an idea, though, of sometimes to make a move work here on the fast slip streaming track here like this at Pembry. You've really got to be tactical with your overtaking maneuvers. You've almost got to plan the overtake about three corners in advance there. We saw that uh, Fedrick there really lining up the number 99 of Max Robinson. Sebastian Gozlaski still leading the way, 108.652, his best lap of the race, he's circulating quite nicely in the 109s at the moment, again that fight still for second place. So Ryder goes down there, the red flag has been displayed, so the race drawing to a halt. trying to um, establish who that rider is. According to the lap chart, it may possibly be the number 81 of Austin Wilton that went down. I wouldn't like to say for definite, though. I can't see the number on the bike. That's just purely going on the lap chart. So that fall, that's on the far end of the circuit. On that right-hander, the injured rider makes his way back towards the ambulance. It um, doesn't appear to be anything serious, but uh, as we say, no second chance is taken with rider welfare, so they will make sure they'll take the rider back to the back to the medical area as he gets into the ambulance under his own steam. So that's a good sign. Hopefully it's nothing too serious, but as always, the medical crews here at these events, they, they won't take any chances, and they'll just make sure they'll take the rider back to the medical area just to evaluate them, make sure they're okay, and hopefully be able to get back racing a little bit later on. So... Uh, just in the interest of safety here, a red flag going out in our second race of the day. High-speed tumble on that right-hand circuit, and the uh, the marshal's throwing out the red flag. Medical crews on the track, Brizzy, just saw for yourself there. It doesn't appear to be anything too serious, which is always a good sign. It, uh, there is the bike, so uh, number 81, it was the machine of Austin Wilton. And if you look at the, uh, the foot peg there on the right-hand side, it gives you an idea that it was a fairly hefty tumble into the grass. You don't like to see the medics on the track, of course, but if the worst does happen, they are there. And just behind the, the race control building that you can see just in front of you on your cameras, the uh, the medical area is there, so uh, they'll check Austin Will to make sure he's okay. He's there in the ambulance at the moment. Um, if you're watching this a few moments ago, you will, see, you will have seen, of course, the rider hopped into the ambulance quite uh, quickly under his own steam. He seemed okay. So they'll just make sure he's all right, and hopefully he'll be out racing a little bit later on today. So, uh, brief pause in the action here at Pembrey before we get back underway. But as you can see from our friendly marshal there, we've got the green flag back out. And we should expect the riders back out onto the circuit now. So, I believe that we are going to continue this race. It certainly looks like the same riders that were out a few moments ago. So here they come back out onto the track. There is the number 64, Sebastian Gazlavsky, who was really running away with things before the red flag came out. So just going back out onto the circuit before we get this race restarted, get the get the tyres warmed up, get the engines back to race temperature again, and we'll be back underway for the uh, the restart of the 110s in just a few moments' time. So a Mini GP 110 and the Ovali 110 race incident on this corner that we're looking at now brought the red flag out but as you can see for yourself it was uh, cleared away very quickly and we should be able to get racing back underway 
in just a few moments' time. Just to recap for the uh, the, cal the uh, race calendar here, the race schedule, if you're watching any particular riders, we're underway at the moment with the BMB 110 Cup and the Ovali 110 Cup. They'll be getting underway very shortly. Our next race is the Mini Bike 140. This is just a restart of the um, continuation, I believe, of the race that was in progress, so it won't be too long left in this race now. Got the Mini Bike 140s after this. FIM Mini GP 160s, Super Minis, BMB 160s, and the 50 Cup, and the Mini Bike 160, and the Vets rounding out the morning race program. So, riders now back on the line, and we'll be getting underway in just a few moments' time with the restart. Riders are in position and just about ready to go here as the, uh, the racing is about to get back underway with the BMB 110 and the Avali 110 Cup riders in position now and getting back underway in just a few moments so everyone clears the grid Yoslavski closest to us number 64 runaway leader be looking for a good start here they're all eyes on the lights as we get things back underway so away they go Max Robinson getting a good jump there with Golovsky coming through and they charge through the first couple of corners. Here we go. So uh, they charge through the first corner. Goslaski not quite getting the start this time. Now this could throw an interesting, uh, interesting part into the race here because when the uh, on the previous start Goslaski nailed the start, number 64, and really ran away with things. He's been the fastest rider on the track, but as we know in racing overtaking can sometimes be a different matter so let's see max robinson's got this opportunity here to try and snatch the lead but uh, gavslavsky is in a no-nonsense move there neat little move through the right hander and immediately retakes the lead so he didn't quite get the start that time but now back into the lead so uh, gavslavsky your race leader two laps to go so essentially of course we've hit the reset button on this race and then um, when the red flag came out, Gozlaski was quite clear at the front, running away with things, but now it's a sprint to the finish line here. And Max Robinson, who spent most of the race fighting with Mason Federick for second position, now has an opportunity to go for the lead here. If he can just tag onto the back wheel of the number 64. So Gozlaski still continues to lead the way. Robinson, Federick, Herring in fourth. Mason Hams, Leo Solieu recovering all the time up to uh, sixth position now. The top four just breaking away though from the rest of the field. There you see at the back of this little pack here, number six, number nine, one, four, Caden Herring. Herring again can't quite get close enough to the leaders here to fight for the lead as they make their way down towards the right hander. This is a corner where Robinson's been very quick. And Gozlowski had to work hard to take the take the lead there last time round. Down the back straight they go. Kozlowski closing in on victory here, but Max Robinson, number 99 in second place, is not giving this one up at all here. As they make their way back towards the finish line, nice sweeping line there from Kozlowski on the outside. Down towards the final right-hander they go. Robinson carrying a lot of speed into the final corner here as they make their way back towards the finish line. Charging down to the final corner, the rest of the field go charging through. We've got Mason Hams, Leo Solieu fighting away. Over the line they go, so this, I believe, will be the last lap. Kozlowski just starting to pull Robinson along with him now. They're leaving behind Mason Federick and Caden Herring here. So it looks like it's going to be a two-rider fight for the finish line here. A bit further down there, Mason Ham's currently in sixth place. Keon Daly in seventh. Leon Simpson in eighth. Jasper O'Neill White in ninth place. Ella Marsgrove rounding out the top ten. Austin Wilton, unfortunately, out of the race, of course. Here they come, through the right-hander. Max Robinson, second position, number 99. Hustling the race leader, Sebastian Gozlowski, who's really uh, pulled Robinson along here. Good start here for Robinson. Got the lead early on in this restart and has been able to tag himself along with the race leader this time and having a fight for the lead. Round the outside onto the final corner. Now gavlaski has got the line here as they make their way towards the finish line. It's going to be tight. They make their way up towards the finish line now. Gavlaski takes it. Robinson second. 
Hayden Herring third, Mason Fedrick, so Herring getting the pass there. Leo Soliu has come around the final corner now, fighting with Mason Hams, Kian Daly. So the race still goes on here. And Gozlaski holding on to that lead. Jan Daly still in seventh place. Leon Simpson in eighth position. Jasper O'Neill White and Ellen Mosgrove fighting at the back of the field, but still Max Robinson. He's done very well here to live with the race lead. If you remember before the red flag came out, Sebastian Gozlaski. The current race leader was around eight or nine seconds ahead in a race of his own. Oh, but Robinson's gone down the inside. A brave move to snatch the apex away from the race leader. And Max Robinson taking advantage of the stoppage here to try and get the lead. Oh, but look at the 64 fighting back here on the inside line. Sebastian Gavzlaski is not giving this one up as they make their way down towards the checkered flag and late drama here as Max Robinson with a brave move with two corners to go takes the chequered flag Sebastian Gavzlaski so unlucky there has to settle the second place Caden Herring with a great move at the end there to take third place Mason Fedrick will have to settle the fourth position and Leo Soliu fighting through to fifth place Mason Hams, Keon Daly sixth and seventh and there go the rest of the field Leon Simpson, Jasper O'Neill White and Ella Mosgrove rounding out the top 10, but what a dramatic finish there. Certainly was. Big stuff from Max Robinson again, just three tenths of a second ahead of Sebastian Gazlowski. Caden Herring getting on the podium just ahead of Mason Federick. Leo Solio in P5 ahead of Mason Hams. Kian Daly in seventh ahead of Leon Simpson, with Jasper O'Neill White ahead of Ella Mosgrove to round out the top 10. And that result for Max Robinson pays dividends in the championship fight. He extends to 120 points at the top of the table with Leo Soliu 30 ahead of Caden Herring. Leon Simpson and Sebastian Gaslavsky are there or thereabouts. More great action coming up after the break. Welcome back to Pembrey. The senior riders in Minibike 140 are up next. Michael Med, Tim Batterson and Tommy Armand will share the front row. Stuart Hardman and Dan Merrin have Stephen Humphreys to play with from the second row of the starting grid. Then just outside the top six, we've got plenty of riders to try and challenge the main force up front. Dan Cliff, Jordan Merriweather and Tom Wise go together from row three. Row four of the grid has Liam Trinder alongside Liam Booth and Brian Farrell. Plenty of competitive riders outside the top 12 as well. There's several competitors that will want to try and crack the top 10 in this one. Nicky Margotson, Lindsay Yates and Dean Carver are on row five. And then Lee Hayward, Simon Portis and Harry Swan will go together on row six of this very competitive starting grid. Green flags at the back. We've got Alvaro Tirado, David Rudman and Ben Lord just ahead of Ian Pritchard. We're ready to go racing. So here's Chris as we are under starters orders. Watch the riders as we get underway. BMB 140 is go. One or two slow getaways off the line there. Difficult start, but they come charging into the first corner. Michael Med looking good though on the number one. As they pile through that first corner, so uh, the rider closest to the, to the camera there. Michael May getting a good start. Tim Patterson, Tommy Almond also looking good as well. I think that's Stuart Harbin also well placed as they make their way through into the chicane for the first time. They go piling through into the left-hander. Slowest part of the track here. It's all fast and furious here at Pembrey as they make their way through the right-handers back towards the far end of the circuit now. On this cool day here on the South Wales coast, the forecast was actually supposed to be quite sunny and warm a few days ago, but uh, it does seem to have shifted. As you can see on the, uh, the backgrounds here, it is quite cloudy out there. The temperature track side is cool. It is starting to warm up slightly. Could potentially mean, of course, bike setup very important. These cooler temperatures potentially they're better for the engine, especially on a fast circuit like this with the cooler air. Here they come around the final corner. So our leaders charge through for the first time. 21, Tommy Holland having a peek down the inside of Michael Med. Side by side out to the first corner. Here they come up towards us once again. And it looks like Med's got the line out of the corner and holds on to the lead. Tim Patterson, Stuart Hartman and Dan Merrin fighting for third place. Daniel Cliff in sixth. Stephen Humphries and Ben Lord a little bit further behind. 
Jordan Merriweather, Tom Wise running up the top 10 on that first lap and further down. Liam Booth, 11th place, Liam Trinder, Nicky Margitson, Lindsay Yates in 14th, Lee Hayward in 15th, Dean Carver, Harry Swan, Byron Farrell, Alvaro Tirado, Daniel Rudman, and Simon Porter, who didn't quite get the start there at the back of the field right now in this 21 rider race, but at the front. Tommy Ullman back into the lead, but Michael Med having a sweep around the outside and goes back into the lead. Number one, Michael Med, your race leader, once again. Can Tommy Ullman fight back though as they make their way up towards the final corner? Tim Patterson still in third place, Stuart Hartman in fourth. And look out for the number 13 here. Tim Patterson started to close up on the leaders here. And further down on the edge of the top 10, we've got uh, Ben Lord, Jordan Merriweather fighting away. Tom Wise and Liam Booth, Liam Trinder in there as they make their way over the line. But looking at the fight for the lead now as they make their way up towards the chicane. Look out for Tim Patterson here in third place. And Patterson has set the fastest lap of the race, 110.036 for the number 13 as they make their way back towards us. So Tim Patterson coming up towards the top of the circuit now, still the top two fighting for position here. Michael Med, number one, still your race leader. Oh, goes a little bit wider into the sweep into the corner. That could have been a moment there for Tommy Ullman to get down the inside but not quite close enough. This race shaping up quite nicely here as Stuart Hardman starts to pull away now in fourth place. Oh, and down goes the second place rider. That's Tommy Ullman, the front wheel washing out on him. Rider okay, now can he get back in the race? Oh, so drama there in the fight for the lead as Tommy Ullman, the, uh, the front wheel, just seemed to wash away from him there. And as quick as you like, he goes down and Ryder OK, but essentially is out of the race. There he is on the final corner. Has he got the bike going again? Yes, he has. Should rejoin towards the back of the field. So this throws the race wide open now with Tim Patterson in second place, Stuart Hardman in third. And this time Hardman sets the fastest lap of the race. 109.946 for the 104, the Ryder in third place. But can they close up on the leader? It's half a second, which doesn't sound very much, but on such a big track like this, that is quite a gap. Here they come. So Hardman just starting to pressurise the number 13 of Tim Patterson in the fight for second place. Hardman's got a nice line as they make their way down the back straight. Still Michael Med, your race leader. A bit further down, Dan Merrin, Stephen Humphreys, Ben Lord up to sixth place now. Lord didn't quite get the start, but he's up to sixth from Liam Booth. Jordan Merriweather in 8th place, Tom Wise in ninth, Liam Trinder rounding up the top 10, Nicky Margitson, Lindsay Yates, Dean Carver, Alvaro Tirado moving up to 14th as well. Lee Hayward, Harry Swan, Brian Farrell, Tommy Olmert incidentally recovered into 18th position, you'll see on your lap charts on the left-hand side. Just ahead of Daniel Rudman and Daniel Cliff who rounds out the field, we look towards the far end of the circuit now, towards the action towards the back of the field. And there is the number 21 of Tommy Ullman, who's starting to recover through the field now. And I think that may have been the number 11 of Brian Farrell, who he just overtook there for 17th position, as the race goes on with our leaders at the front. Michael Med still pulling away, and just increasing the gap again, though, just that little bit further. Stuart Hartman then now moves into second place. Now, what can he do? He's got four laps to go to try and close up on the race leader. Tim Patterson still charging in third place. So good recovery there from Tommy Ullman, who moves up to 17th place, getting past the number 11 that we saw just a few moments ago of uh, Brian Farrell, who drops to 18th position. So Ullman, despite that fall, should be able to salvage some points from this race. Luckily, the bike was OK, so he's able to get back into the race. Here comes number 13, Stuart... Uh, sorry, Tim Patterson, I should say. Round the outside of the second place, Stuart Hartman. Here they come, fighting for position into the first corner. Hard onto the brakes, into that right-hander. And Tim Patterson has done it. So uh, Patterson now back into second place. Stuart Hardman drops to third. Hardman still with the fastest lap, 109.282. And he's trying to fight back for second. They do seem to be closing back up on the leader, though, here. Coming around towards the final corner, there's some of the battles a bit further down the field. We've got Dan Merrin, Stephen Humphreys, Ben Lord and Liam Booth all fighting away for fourth position. Tom Wise, Liam Trinder and Jordan Merriweather, the riders we saw a few moments ago. They're fighting on the edge of the top ten. So Wise in eighth place, Trinder ninth. 
Mayweather 10th, Nicky Margitson and Lindsay Yates just a little bit further behind as our race leader Michael Med has a look over the shoulder. And Tim Patterson goes into the lead. So Med seemed very slow into the corner there. Fights back though. I was wondering there if there was some sort of mechanical issue, but evidently not. So Michael Med back into the lead he goes. Tim Patterson still there in second there, closing up on the number eight. Oh, number 12, I should say, Simon Portis, who currently sits in 19th position. Portis holding his line there, letting the leaders find their way through. Stuart Harbin, 104, with the fastest lap of the race. 109.282, but he drops to third as Tim Patterson starts to really put the pressure on Michael Med here, who lost the lead momentarily. As we look a little further down there, another fight for position. That's I think with Stephen Humphreys, Dan Merrin, and Ben Lord all fighting for position now as they go for fourth position down towards the start finish line. Michael Med pulling away at the front slightly, but here's that fight. And down the inside there goes the number 218 of Liam Trinder. That's the battle for 10th position right now. Liam Trinder, Tom Wise, and the 118 of Jordan Merriweather currently in eighth position. The leaders now making their way up towards the final couple of corners here as Michael Med now back into the lead. Still that battle for 10th place looking a bit further down on the right-hand side of your screen there. Very close between Jordan Merriweather, Tom Wise and Liam Trinder. Look at this, though, for the lead. Three abreast down the straight with one lap to go here. And Tim Patterson goes into the lead. Merriweather still fighting further down as well. Stuart Harbin holds the inside line, looks like he's taken second position, so Michael Med drops to third now, but this race is still wide open. Still looking at that close battle for eighth position now, a little bit further down as well. So once again, the Pembury circuit throwing up some really close slipstreaming tactical racing here. The riders having to really time their move to perfection. They go past a, uh, another slower rider there. May have been uh, either Brian Farrell or the 76 of Lee Hayward going a lap down as the leaders come back down towards us for the final time. And it's still Tim Patterson that leads the way. Number 13, Stuart Hartman charging a second. Oh, down the inside goes Michael Med though. On that right hander into second place, that little chicane, the dog leg chicane down the back straight. And Michael Med fighting back now as they make their way around the final corner. But Tim Patterson's got the line covered. Here they come down towards the finish line. 76 just in front of them. And now onto the final lap. So that's Lee Hayward. Hayward holding his line, letting the leaders find their way through. Just in front of the number 76, Lee Hayward is the 16th position. Number 96 of Harry Swan. There is Swan on the red machine, but it's still Tim Patterson that leads the way. Michael Med. Charging in second. Oh, they're closing up though on Swan on the slowest part of the track here. Difficult now for the leaders. They've got to find their way through. Swan holds his line. Let's the leaders find their way through. But unfortunate for the leaders to encounter a slow rider on that technical part of the track. And that's allowing Stuart Hardman to get back involved here as they close back up again. Still a very close fight for the lead here as this race ends its final stages here. They've got two slow riders in front of them, though. They're fighting for position there. Alvaro Tirado and Dean Carver. And they're having their own battle here. So this is adding to the pressure for Tim Patterson here as they make their way up towards the final corner. Patterson still leads, filtering his way around the outside of the slow riders. Here they come up towards the line. And it's still Tim Patterson that leads the way. Michael Med charging in second place. Stuart Hartman in third. Over the line they go. And Tim Patterson holding on to the lead here. They've done very well to lap those midfield runners, having their own battle. Here comes Stuart Hartman back into second place. Have a look on the outside of Med. Got to carry the speed into the chicane, which he does so. So Michael Med now dropping back into third place, although he did seem very quick on the second part of the track here, the BMB 140 Cup with AMR Moto. Tim Patterson continues to lead the way, but sweeping around the outside. Stuart Hartman having a look. That battle on the edge of the top ten still raging away. Tom Wise, Liam Trinder, Jordan Merriweather. Tommy Ullman, incidentally, is up to 11th place now, number 21, despite falling off earlier in the race quite heavily. Uh, has really recovered well here. The fight goes on for Lee, though. Still three riders fighting position. Anyone could win this race here, but Tim Patterson 
will be determined to hold on here and grab the chequered flag. Here they come round the final corner. So it's Tim Patterson that leads the way. Stuart Hartman in second place, Med in third. And over the line they go. Chequered flag goes out for Patterson. One tenth of a second down is Stuart Hartman in second place. Michael Med only four tenths of a second down in third. It's going to be Stephen Humphreys on the 2 4 1 4 just about holding off Dan Merrin in fifth place. Then there's a gap, and Ben Lord should be coming around the final corner any moment now to grab that sixth position. Still the fight on the edge of the top ten here. They come up towards the finish line as Ben Lord goes through in sixth. Well, you're never going to get a dull race in Minibike 140, are you? How about that for a finish? Patterson Hardman Med, so close, under half a second between the top three. Stephen Humphreys and Dan Merrin separated by just nine hundredths at the flag. Ben Lord P6 ahead of Booth, Armand Wise and Liam Trinder. I tell you what, Minibike 140 always delivers. What does that do to the championship? Well, Michael Med is very well and clear up in front, but Tommy Armand has a good battle with Ben Lord and even Dan Merrin not that far away, with still plenty of rounds left in 2024. That's all we have time for in this programme, but join us shortly for the remaining four races featured from this weekend's action from Pembrey in South Wales.